Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. And today I create this video to let you know that the show will go on. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've actually uh, published a video and you guys are probably wondering. In fact, I've had a couple comments of, hey, where's your next video? Uh, those of you that have been following me on Facebook, you already know uh, the reason behind the, the slowdown or lack of videos there on my part. Although I've never contracted to you to give you X amount at a certain time. Um, I've uh, thrown them out there at five in a day or one in a week. Uh, it's, 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 you know me, it's not set, it's not written in stone. And that's how we fly. We fly work in the door, I handle it, and we send it back out the door and we're, we all learn something from that. And that's what it's all about. A um, little over a week ago, I learned that my dad was in a severe accident. Uh, he, his hobby is hang gliding and paragliding and it has been since 1975. He is very proficient in his hobby. And um, he has kind of faded out of hang gliding because of the heft of the gliders and, and actually physically picking them up and running off the cliff. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's a little bit more than he cared to handle. And uh, so he does more paragliding in the last, I don't know how many years he's been paragliding now, but uh, he, he's, you know, it's, <laughs> it's quite a few. And um, he is actually uh, uh, certified to fly hang gliders and paragliders any port in the world. So there's no, there's no lack of, of uh, experience that caused this accident uh, so it and we will find out eventually if he gets his memory back um, maybe what was going through his mind what happened uh, besides we know that a downdraft collapsed one half of his kite two of his fellow flyers at Torrey Pines watched what happened to him uh, and after his kite collapsed halfway, it put him in a uh, spiral and he, uh, he went until he met the ground. Here's a glimpse of his rescue of that day here on a news channel. Hello everyone, we begin tonight with breaking news. A paraglider has just been rescued near the Torrey Pines glider port. A helicopter was brought in to hoist the paraglider off the cliffs. News 8's Matt Johnson is live now with the latest. Matt? Phil and Marcel, this operation just ended within the last hour, and lifeguards say the victim is in serious condition after suffering lacerations on the back of the head. Witnesses tell me that a man in his 60s was paragliding over my shoulder when his wings somehow got tangled and he crashed side first into the cliffs. Take a look, take a look at this incredible video we just shot. Fire helicopters were able to lift the man from below and take him to a local hospital. Rescue workers found the man bleeding and unable to talk, but still conscious and breathing. This all happened at around 345. That's when lifeguards and San Diego fire raced to the part of the cliff known to rescuers as Broadway. Luckily for the victim, there were several witnesses who quickly went to his aid before rescue crews arrived. They were able to wrap up the rescue in less than an hour, thanks to helpful but rough terrain. One witness says his first instinct was to help. We were fortunate in that where he crashed, we were able to walk there via the trails, tough trails, rough trails, but we didn't have to set up a rope system, so that sped up the rescue. Well, and he couldn't communicate, so it was kind of hard. So all we did was put pressure on the... Uh, laceration on the head and uh, try to stop the bleeding and kept talking to him, you know, just reassured him that um, help was on the way. Now, lifeguards aren't entirely sure what caused this crash to begin with, whether it was wind or just a freak accident. They did, though, thank the witnesses that were able to rescue and, and come in and help before the rescue crews arrived. They're going to wait until the victim wakes up in a local hospital and is able to kind of give a recap of what happened. Now, my dad, as everybody's dad, I hope that you've, you've got a special place in your heart and it's special to you as well, and, and mine is. I mean, my dad gave me the attitude and the um, stick to of working on something 
and creating the best job possible whether somebody was watching you or not. That, that line of workmanship expectations. Plus a lot of other things that he's given me. But that's, this is just the man that instilled that into me very early in life. And that's where my career was able to take off. And that's why uh, I am where I am today. And how I perform my work. And that you see that every, every project that we go through. Um, I also love him because we, we shared a lot, of, a lot of good things. Actually, back in the day when he started, after we finished racing dune buggies and we, we took uh, overall West Coast points winner for 1971, we did a little bit of bugging and we did a few things there for the next couple of years. And then, um, then it ventured into hang gliding. And I was up at Escape Country one day, with just him and I, and we were going back and forth taking turns. And, and I, I had a fall on a 200-foot hill. I caught the draft sideways, went down, went down between two trees, scratched my legs, ripped my pants, bent the kite, said, Dad, I'm all done. <laughs> all right? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what it was. It was just I knew that that wasn't for me, okay? So I needed to go do something safer, so I went and I bought an 18-foot Tahiti Hall jet boat, 455 holes, and a Berkeley pump, and then went to where I had tears rolling in the back of my eyes on the water. You know, it's, to me, that was safer. Uh, you know, we all pick out what, what it is. Um, so anyway, you know, my dad, right now, um, you know, it, right now we, we're, we're still hoping, I mean, he's got head damage, and also his artificial hip was crammed down into his femur and shattered the femur. So he has a severe uh, uh, package there to mend back together. They've, they've gathered all the splinters up, put a collar around it, and they've got him secure there. Um, the, he, he's still in and out, and he's got a lot of confusion, and, and the head's not all square yet. So... Um, we're, we're still hoping for that. It, it, he did have some internal bleeding uh, going on and that was all taken care of. He's, he's, he is pretty well stable. He is kind of put back together and uh, whatever. I will be making a trip out to see him. Um, but at this time, and it's, I mean, every day I'm, I'm in contact with somebody about my dad and what's going on. And, and that's generated the slowdown on, on my videos. So it's not that I've run out of things to video. I have right now what's in your box. In fact, actually, um, I think uh, Tony uh, uh, Chris Gerald, he actually sent something. And actually, this dates back to April 19th. And this came in the day or day after I was actually doing the last video up there. So I've held his. And there's some uh, there's everywhere. I mean, uh, Canada, and there's Arizona, and there's uh, Tennessee, and there's Pennsylvania. And uh, I just can't, you know, California, um, you guys are great, and we're going to keep this on going. In fact, actually, I think, I think I'm going to be taking some of the money that has actually been donated in here as well, and we're going to pick up a second box. Now, I'm a little bit, um, you know, uh, a little bit discouraged somewhat that the nominees. There's a couple of people that have come in and uh, they just they send me an email. Some of them actually go to you got my box at gmail.com where they're supposed to go, but some go to turnrightmachineworks.com. Um, and they will just say, hey, here, click, check me out. I would like to be nominated. I do not do the nominating. Okay? I do not nominate you. I receive nominations. I need you to go ahead and put an email to yougotmybox at gmail.com and nominate, say, I nominate myself, so and so. And, and you know, give me, give me a, a, a nice reason and, and present a nice reason that I'm going to put up on my blog page. I'm going to put you, have your own page right on my blog. And I'll take photos and everything else. So you can look at, at Andre's, Charlie's, and, and Toby's pages. Use them for a guideline of 
what we're really looking for. Um, some, you know, I've had the comments in there, uh, you only want somebody that's in school, or you only want uh, the, the, from represented by a company. No. We're looking for a worthy person. If you're going to take the tools, continue the trade, build your skills, and help other people, and project that idea to all of us, then, you know, th then you're worthy of the tools. This is a machinist toolbox. This is not a carpenter's toolbox. This is not a mechanic's toolbox. We're putting together a machinist toolbox, and that's what uh, we want to put together. All right. So I will be coming out with. Uh, in fact, I'll leave this out, and I'll probably the next day or so uh, because I am working in the field as well, and uh, and I'll give you a glimpse of my work in the field as well. And I'm going to go ahead and hit a couple other highlights of uh, videos coming up. All right. I, I had been working on some, a couple of them I scrapped because my head was just so scattered um, that I couldn't get everything all all organized in it. I mean, just, you know, I've been on an emotional roller coaster and trying to hold it together. I know if I would have flown out to my dad, been beside his bed, I would have been just as useless. I might have helped, I mean, bless, bless the rest of the family there. Um, I could have, you know, kumbaya and, and, and helped everybody else dealing with it, but they are, they are joining together out there and they're doing it fine. And, uh, you know, I plan on going out and, and as soon as my dad is um, um, to the point where, you know, he's, uh, he, he is re relaced, actually he's somewhat restrained uh, lately just because he's wanting to pull out his own gear and get the heck out of there and you know that's that's my dad you know he's ready to rock and roll and he doesn't even you know he's he's still just realizing that you know he has body damage as well um, so it's, it's pretty hard it, you know but anyway all right also on my blog site my ball caps all right and we got the black and the blue I got green hunter green will be uh, coming back into inventory here and two weeks. Also, um, uh, on the work shirts there, um, I ran out of larges. They're on their way. And also, uh, I ordered medium because I've had a couple requests for mediums. You know, the new trend is everybody wants tight shirts. Everybody wants a tight fit, you know, to look. Um, and, you know, so I mean, you know, but I, 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 I get that input and I listen, all right? And that's what I want. I don't want to give, I'm not trying to get any, you know, this money helps produce everything here and um, and then these shirts here um, I know I have them on there for 30 for the short sleeves and uh, 35 for the long sleeves and this week I'm gonna lower these down $20 all right $20 for a what's in your box t-shirt all right and it's got my awesome logo on the back all right what's in your box Actually, my son just came home from college for the weekend, all right, and uh, <laughs> he asked for about six of them, okay, so he has, uh, <laughs> he has, he has all of his friends up there and they're rooting, they watch my videos and stuff, and, and, uh, and, you know, uh, long sleeves and short sleeves, so even the cool nights, actually, I have a long sleeve on right now, and, uh, of course, it's sunny and about ready to take it off, and I got to go do some mowing on the grass there, we've had, We've had a couple of uh, days here of gloom, uh, the remnants of all that stuff that went by and destroyed Oklahoma, and uh, bless all of you out there. I mean, I've had some people over here, and you know, they're saying, you know, um, you know, our hearts go out to you. We, when when we have a hurricane come up the coast, it's the same thing. You know, we we know what destruction is like, and and things, and uh, and one neighbor can get it, and the next neighbor doesn't get it, and. Um, you got the whole community there ripped up. I, I extremely uh, hope hope you guys can mend and get back together. Excuse me. All right, let's take a look at a couple things coming up uh, with the plasma cam here for future videos. All right, we got a couple things. Uh, uh, we had new customer but he's also he's he's a uh, subscriber and he's also a friend and a customer he's brought down a few things that I've uh, had a chance to go ahead and work on uh, the, a little uh, uh, cog for an Arbor press uh, it was actually a Harbor Harbor Freight uh, 
uh, arbor press and he broke the little cog gear the finger comes against it and makes the pull I made him one out of steel um, I might actually have a picture of that here it is um, uh, anyhow uh, he also has a plasma cam up there and he he had picked up a couple of these Wilkerson compressed air dryers and he brought one down and gave it to me. I got to uh, charge it with 22 uh, uh, R refrigerant there and uh, we're going to be going through and actually getting this set up in the system. He brought down some white desiccant and uh, I went ahead and I bought another chamber just like the one I have up here. And I'm going to go ahead and run the compressed air dryer and then go through a, the one chamber with the white and, uh, and then I have the, uh, the blue desiccant that, that I've been using. But I also brought down a small chamber that I can, in the future, uh, I could be running any kind of desiccant and this can be the last resort coming out and when this turns uh, blue then I will uh, be able to know that my desiccant needs to be rebaked. Um, so this is one one of a couple things that is going to be going on here with the uh, the plasma cam, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to be playing with that. the The other thing that uh, we're going to be playing with, and this is a box, yeah, hypertherm, and I have in here. I was sent um, by a plasma cam. Uh, two of uh, the hand grips for the hypertherm torches which are the most popular torches used uh, on the market uh, today in the US I believe um, I may be wrong but uh, you know that's I, I that's what I got uh, we have the uh, T45 torch and the Duramax torch now we're gonna be taking and say what what about those torches well what we're gonna do is we're going to create our pop-away torch to fit the hypertherm hand grips. So you're going to be able to buy the plasma cam machine. You're going to be able to buy the hypertherm plasma cutter. And you're going to be able to buy the pop-away that will give the option to go ahead and pop it free. Or the safety that if there's an accident and hits anything that it will be able to safely be remounted on there or if you need to change out your consumables you can pop the torch off and then pop it back on so that is going to be coming along with the uh the future videos here all right we'll put this back up here um now in some of the other videos you've seen uh let me move the camera down here a little bit Now, in a couple of the other videos, actually, there's been a couple of people comment that have actually seen the uh, the brackets hanging here, and these are uh, part of the uh, roller assembly for the pipe cutting attachment for the plasma cam. And then I have down in here in the box, I have the rest of the components here. I have had this unit for over a month, and I have not had enough time to play with it yet. Uh, every time I go to think I'm going to need to play with it. Uh, or want to play with it, I get a job for it in the flat mode and I haven't been able to change it out. Um, also, the depth, <clears throat> sometimes you need to run this down in, in your tray or table here and the depth of this and my water tray has got a slight bit of interference with each other and I'm going to have to make my own modification center roller so that I'm not, I can use it in my tray. All right, I'm not going to modify my machine for this. I'm going to modify this for my machine. Um, eventually, I believe I will have uh, this this system separate, uh, so I don't actually have to take this table apart. And but what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to show you the pipe cutting attachment being used uh, by me on this system the way it was designed to run and then uh, we'll progress from there uh, down the road but that's that's another new thing that's going to be coming to play 
with the plasma table in our future video. Well, that uh, should enlighten you a little bit about what we got coming up anyway with the plasma cam and some of the attachments and some of the gadgets that we're going to be playing with in that as the future. I also just finished putting together a video because I did a cleanup on it when I first got the the plasma cam uh, pipe attachment I put in a new grill and I cleaned up the machine and I also mixed up some plasma quench and I created a video of that uh, recipe that Grandpa Bill uh, sent me and I got that in there and actually show the full results on that alright so here's a glimpse of our ongoing field work that we've been doing down on the Lark and uh, the Lark is a Vietnam Air uh, ship to shore cargo carrying uh, vessel that was uh, created back in Vietnam Air and um, and now it's used in touring and like Cape Cod Tours downtown Hyannis has uh, got several of them in operation right now and the one that we're putting together now is going to be uh, uh, a new uh, a new venture for Hyannis uh, uh, Harbor and and uh, Lewis Bay. Uh, it'll be a treat to see this one in action, and I'm not going to give out any of the details. You'll see it coming soon. And uh, anyway, here's a glimpse of the work that I've been doing down on 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 it.
be back to getting her done once again. Uh, I just, it's just we're just going to be rolling through here um, and and just going with the flow. And the flow is real heavy as far as my work going here. But I also have some family problems, and I just pointed those out to you. And uh, so you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, so the next video here, we're going to be actually getting into these boxes, so I don't have to put them back away, except for to put them into the box itself, and uh, and and get this going here. All right, that's a wrap on the video here. I just wanted to enlighten you on why uh, the videos were starting to drag a little bit, and what really was going on in my life. So. Um, we are going to keep on getting her done. That's what I love doing. That's what I live for. And this will just keep on happening. We have work. I'm not running out of work. It just it keeps flowing in here. Um, and, uh, and also, too, I, I do have plenty of uh, things that I need to do for my own. You know, I've been pushing this machinery for a while there, and I have a couple of lead screws that need to be made and, and some gears to be cut. And, you know, and so we're going to be getting into a lot more things than, than I have. I've already shown you. It's just endless uh, what, uh, what we can uh, achieve here in the shop. Uh, don't forget, T-shirt sale. Uh, work shirts uh, in two weeks we will have mediums and larges will be back in stock we do have extra large and double X uh, available hunter green will uh, be in uh, stock um, and uh, you know all the hat colors will be back up to par here within two weeks uh, plenty of black plenty of blue uh, royal blue um, we have uh, a few of the burgundies at hand and a couple of the spruces um, but, uh, you know, we're all good. It's going to just take a little bit of time, get back in sync here, get her done.